This is Nina Curley from WAMDA. I'm here chatting with Bedria Holia of BeFit, the first series of women-run gyms in Turkey. Bedria, how are you? Hi, how are you, Nina? I'm doing very good. Thank you. Great. So, you're a serial entrepreneur. You've started companies um, in various sectors, in the hotel business, restaurants, textile companies. How did you decide to yes. start BeFit? Uh, I decided to start BeFit. Uh, I actually, I just came back from New York. I used to live there for six years. I came back and started working in our hotel again. But then, uh, by the way, I studied psychology when I was in New York. And uh, uh, after coming to Turkey, I realized that there's so much suppression on women, including me, uh, of all people who have been doing business for the last 20 years, maybe, by the time. So I said, if there is so much suppression on me, what would happen to other women? And then uh, I realized that we are all uh, under a big suppression. Uh, it's not because of only men, but because of society itself. Uh, and I decided that I should do something about it and started keep it with my girlfriend. Has it been difficult to staff the gyms with all women? Um, is this creating a cultural shift by encouraging women to working out or is this tapping into a, an existing market? It helps really to have all the employees to be women uh, because again, women have to ask for permission to exercise in our country, they have to ask permission from their husbands, they have to ask permission from their sons, their son and law, brothers, mothers, whoever that is, the male figures in their life. Uh, it helps women to come here more freely, I should say. What is the toughest part of creating a gym franchise? That was but, uh, in the beginning, there wasn't regulations. We were very new, and nobody knew what to do with us. So we had to create the regulations with the government. Uh, it was a tough spot. Now, uh, it's just motivating women to continue coming to our club. I think those are the main two issues. Other than that, Everything seems to be okay. Uh, there is one problem which we don't know yet how to solve, which is some parts of Turkey where um, people are not that wealthy to be able to sp spare some money to go to exercise club. So we have to create some social projects that w where these women can be supported money-wise so they can come and join the gym. How quickly were you able to scale in Turkey? Um, do you see any potential for expanding to the Middle East? We uh, desperately wanted. We didn't, uh, we had not been aggressive about that because we wanted our uh, foundation to be strong enough so we don't have any problem. But it seems that we are doing pretty well now and uh, we seem to be ready to expand to the Middle East. And we want that very much because it's very suitable uh, for Middle Eastern women. Just finally, you have a background in psychology um, and you've spoken at universities. What advice do you tend to give entrepreneurs and women? We uh, have this notion of learned helplessness, which uh, is taught to us by our family and then through society, education system. Uh, when it comes to playing the role of a man uh, and being an entrepreneur. And um, we women give birth to kids and then take care of them and make sure that they go through this life. And then some people tell us that we cannot start businesses, which doesn't make sense at all. Because one of them is such a huge responsibility of taking care of a kid. And then the other one is just something economical. Uh, so uh, 
I think we have to shed those uh, masks, not really masks, but the, uh, the skin that tells us, that captures us inside and makes us play just the role that our name feminine and uh, believe that we can do anything we want to. So uh, as long as we decide that it's all right to start businesses, I'm sure anyone will be successful. I agree. I think, you know, women should be in a situation where they can start any business that they want to and have equal opportunities to be successful. Uh -huh. um, Badria, thank you so much for chatting with us at WAMDA. Thank you very much, Nina.